Hello everyone, this is Ian Bennett with West Coast Fire Training. We're here in Midwest City uh, with Brian Brush, and we're gonna talk about how we build our NFPA 1403 compliant fuel package for our live fire training. So today we're gonna build a seven pallet package, which we call the box. So I'm gonna have uh, Gus and Jesse help me out here, and we're just gonna build it against this back wall. So we're gonna start off with just the two pallets, which form the base of our box. We throw one on top. So when we throw the pallet on the top, pallets come in all shapes and sizes. So it's important that the pallet on top of the box here have lots of openings between the slats. Sometimes you'll get more durable industrial pallets that have a solid top. We don't want that because then the heat and the fire won't be able to translate through the slats. Uh, the next one we're gonna do is a triangle in the bottom. This is gonna help our fuel get going. The next piece are our top fuels. These pallets are just gonna lean up against the wall. Critical piece, when you've got your bottom pieces of the box like this, your leaning top pallets have to go like that. If they go like this, the weight will push the pallet uh, stack over. So now we're gonna interleave some pieces of OSB. Now, if you choose not to burn with OSB, you don't have to add this. Uh, we're choosing to burn with OSB. We like the uh, smoke and fire behavior presentation that it gives us, but you don't have to burn with it. So one additional piece that I'm gonna point out here as we put these together, a lot of pallets have a solid side right here and then they'll have open sides on the other side where the forks of a forklift go in. We wanna make sure that these solid sides are vertical. If they're on the bottom here, you can see as we tighten everything up, that will stop airflow. The important piece when we're building the box is to have a lot of the fuel high off the ground and have good air movement through the package. Now the last piece that we're gonna add is a lightweight fuel. In this case here, we're using Excelsior. You can also use straw or hay, any kind of lightweight fuel that we can fluff up. We're gonna fluff these up into two different sections down below in the bottom half of the box. That's this triangle is really nice for that because it keeps the fuel kind of aerated so it doesn't collapse onto itself and just form a big pile that smolders. If you want to add additional lightweight fuels, you can do that between the pallets. You just want to make sure that you don't add so much that you're occluding that airflow. And the key with any build is to have fuels high and good airflow. We tend to prefer, this is our preferred build at West Coast Fire Training if the space will support it. It's not too small for the box. We choose this because it has the highest heat release rate of any of the fuel packages tested by fire, the Fire Service Research Institute, FSRI. And since we're trying to get those semi flashover conditions in the room of origin, we wanna be them as efficient with our fuels as we can. And so we go with the box.